Hi. It's so overwhelming and emotional for me to be here and see so many faces who were such an important part of my time here. And I haven't gotten to say hello to all of you, but it means so much for me to be home and to see you all. And I just, I really want to thank Brian for bringing me here um, and, and letting me come home. This is just so great to me. And for Dana for um, a big part in me being here and for all of his mentorship through my years here at Bridgewater as well. Um, when I came to Bridgewater, I wanted to be a high school teacher, and I had to choose a subject to teach that I would, be, that I would double major in, and I chose biology, I think because it's harder for students to fall asleep if they're dissecting a frog. <laughs> but soon I fell in love with biology and it quickly became my focus. The science faculty's passion for science was absolutely contagious. I found myself dreaming of being a scientist, and it was the Bridgewater faculty who really made that dream a reality. I have fun, yeah. I have fond memories of interacting with science professors who really influenced my love for science, many of whom probably don't even know the impact they had on me including Drs. Curry, Carson, Brush, Jehoda, Moore, Mancini, Arndt, and Noda. Although for some of you, it was your quirkiness I remember most fondly. <laughs> my own parents are the reason I haven't gone insane by now, but it's my academic mom and dad who are the reason I went to grad school. Mary Kurvosky. You probably don't know this, but you keep me going every month or so when I consider quitting because I think a PhD is out of my grasp. The demands on women in science are very high. To be competitive, our careers will require complete devotion and many sacrifice by not having a family. But your grace and total success in balancing a beautiful family and being a passionate professor have made the idea of grad school a possibility for me and is what keeps me going when I get despondent about my research. You are such a fantastic role model for women in science. And Jeff Bowen, where is Jeff? I can't see him, uh oh. <laughs> my academic dad is the person who saved me from quitting and joining the circus long ago <laughs> and instead brought the circus to us. Jeff made me believe in myself, made science really fun, took me under his wing, and continues to teach me how to be a great scientist. Jeff is the sole reason I am at Caltech. It is through his guidance and the opportunities that he gave me that I became a competent and confident doctoral candidate. Thank you so much to all of the professors who made me where I am today and have made me love science. Thank you so much. The sciences at Bridgewater have been top notch for a very long time, but not because of the facilities. I remember trying to pay attention in class with startling bangs coming from the heater at random intervals as if my classmate were banging pots and pans whenever she felt the urge. I remember working in the tissue culture room and having to balance petri dishes full of cells while squeezing between the equipment sideways because there was no room. We embraced the building's character, as we called it, but I really think this new building is essential in making classrooms more comfortable for collaborative learning and research facilities that will be conducive to limitless possibilities. The students who will get to learn in this building will be in an amazing position of being well prepared for the next step in their professional lives, not only by the incredible, dedicated faculty who have always been here, but by the exciting nature of newness and possibilities that new technology can bring. It can be very intimidating for an undergraduate who spent four years in a creaky old building at a state school to compete with students from huge research institutions. This building will not only provide more opportunities for uninhibited learning, but will instill confidence in students preparing for the next step in the very competitive world of sciences. 
I have always been a fan of affordable state school education, and I think this new building represents the best of sciences in Massachusetts. I am thrilled for the students who will get to study here. I saw the plans earlier today, and frankly, I am quite jealous. It's, it's comparable to anything we have at Caltech. In fact, um, if, if this were at Caltech, I would, I would try real hard to get in that building because it's just gorgeous. I was asked to speak a little about what it's like to be at Caltech. I went to Wikipedia to get some statistics, which made me laugh after I did it because I'm supposed to be well-trained at doing research. <laughs> Blame Jeff Bowen. <laughs> Caltech is ranked in the top 10 universities worldwide. 32 Nobel Prizes have been awarded there. Einstein taught there and Stephen Hawking continues to teach there. It's a very small school with about one third of the students being women. That's a lot of guys. But let me tell you, ladies, the odds are good, but the goods are really odd. It's <laughs> <laughs> true. I research HIV and I'm trying to fill in the holes of the life cycle that we, so that we can develop smarter drugs to combat it. I get to infect HIV and collect very high resolution data with very powerful microscopes to see structurally what is happening inside the cells as HIV replicates. Pedigree seems to be very important among my classmates, what schools they, come, they came from and who they worked with. I can't wait when classmates ask me where I did my undergrad because I smile proudly knowing we both ended up in the same place, but I learned so much from wonderful, caring teachers and paid a whole lot less for it. <laughs> I feel truly advantaged to have come from BSC and had so much interaction with the faculty, where I got to go to Woods Hole in the summers and work with world-renowned scientists, and to Canada for a semester of paid research, and work with young students at City Lab, meet Bill Nye the science guy, do undergrad research, and go to national conferences. I felt truly cared for, and now doing things I could have never imagined for myself. I still hope to teach, but ideally at the college level in a state school like Bridgewater where I could truly believe in the system I was working for and share my passions with young students like I was not long ago. So I hope you're saving a spot for me. <laughs> I now teach a class at Caltech about how to get into grad school. And from working with the admissions committee, I've learned the top two things to get students into grad school, at least at Caltech, are hands-on lab experience and confidence. I think this building is going to nurture both for students and finally be worthy of its amazing faculty and students. While the research at Caltech is world-renowned, I really miss the teaching at Bridgewater. Although modern technology and state-of-the-art facilities are sometimes necessary to do great science, it's great science teaching that makes great scientists. And now I believe Bridgewater will have both. Again, thank you so much for allowing me to be a part of this incredible day. Thank you.